subsidize renewable energy. So we'll move renewable energy one notch over there. And you'll see the impact that had by making this wedge of renewables much, much larger. And that took 0.2 degrees C off of the warming. By the way, as we do this, one of the nice features that uh, those nice folks from Climate Interactive and MIT taught me is we can replay that change. So no subsidy, subsidy. And you can see what's happening to the renewables uh, in terms of energy production and to the carbon dioxide emissions over there on the right. So you get a much bigger wedge of renewables and you take a lot of CO2 out. In fact, now in this scenario with these policies, global CO2 emissions and global greenhouse gas total emissions are peaking right around 2035 or so. So, and then they head down slightly, leaving us at 3.5 degrees of warming. 